Hey, and welcome to Internet Roundup. That's Josh, and I'm Chuck. And uh, are you breathing right now? Looks like you're holding your breath. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? <laughs> it was just doing it surreptitiously. Okay. This is Internet Roundup, the most oxygenated show on the web. Yeah? Does that work, Casey? Great. <laughs> what are we talking about? We this thing's off the rails already. It is. Casey is not uh, invisible. He's our video director who sits right there out of the corner of both of our eyes. Josh, what do you know about bog butter? I know that they find it surprisingly frequently. I never heard of bog butter. I've heard of the band bog butter. No. I'm just kidding. You know Fishbone played across the street yesterday? What? Yeah. Are you serious? I'm dead serious. When I was pulling out of the parking lot, there was a guy on the corner with his trumpet. Was it from Fishbone, you think? Well, of course. Okay. I didn't know they were still together. Is it the same well, guys? Apparently they're touring again. It could be like the Four Tops or something or the Temptations. Where there's been like 60 yeah. members, but probably not. It's probably the same They guy. used to be one of my bands. They played across the street last night. Holy and you cow. saw one of them playing the trumpet. Be happy for that. I am happy. Good. I wish I would have known. I would have gone. Yeah. I've seen them a bunch over the years. So. Are we talking about Fishbone today for real? Mm-hmm. <laughs> we should talk about Bog Butter. Bog Butter. Neolithic Bog Butter. Even better band name, actually. Mm-hmm. Uh, this prehistoric 10 kilogram lump was found by turf cutters. Is, is this Scotland or no, Ireland? No, County Meath is in Ireland. Ireland, okay, I wasn't sure. He's really sorry, Ireland. Well, I'm so sorry, I really <laughs> am. But I don't live there, I wasn't quite sure. No. Uh, and they found it and they gave it to the National Museum because apparently even though it's not super rare, because they used to bury bog butter a lot yeah. on purpose. Yeah, which I was like, okay, for what? Yeah, I don't get it. Well, they, the bog would preserve it because it's anaerobic, right? Which is why they find such amazingly preserved uh, sacrificed bodies in the bogs. Oh, that makes sense. Um, and apparently the same thing, you can do, do, use the same process or lack of process to, to keep butter from going bad, from spoiling. Huh. If you have a 10 kilogram, 22 pound lump of butter, yeah. You're not going to eat that in a day. Nah. Your whole village probably won't. So yeah. you need to let it keep. So you'd, you'd put it down there. But um, when they find bog butter wrapped in canvas or something like that. Right, or animal skin. It indicates that they were saving it for later. Right. They didn't want it to get all gross. Sure. This apparently didn't have any wrapping, so they think it was actually a sacrifice. Oh, yeah. I, I saw that in here. A sacrifice to the gods for uh, renewed prosperity. So what better way to do that than to bury 22 pounds of butter? That's probably where the uh, the phrase buttering up the gods came from. Oh, is that where that comes from? Here's a 22-pound lump of butter. Interesting. <laughs> and apparently you can eat it. It supposedly smells like stinky cheese. Yeah, I don't know if I would. Uh, and there's a chef named Kevin Thornton who said that he's tasted it before. Mm-hmm. But um, the other people say, I would not advise eating this bog butter. I wouldn't. No. I wouldn't either. I would neither advise it nor consume it. Little toast? Bog butter? No? No. Okay. All right, moving on to <laughs> Jupiter, outer space. Yeah. NASA's Juno space probe is, um, by the time this comes out, it probably will have happened already. On July 4th, they're going to be poking around Jupiter to see what they can learn. Yeah. And I don't. I knew a little bit about Jupiter, but I did not know that it is... 1,400 times the size of planet Earth. It's a biggie. I knew it was big, the biggest, but I didn't know it was that big. This one guy who was interviewed in this article from Tech Times, which Tech Times has the kludgiest website on the internet. The whatiest? Kludgiest. I don't know what that means. Oh, it just crashed my 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 entire browser every time I tried to open this page. Is that a real word? Kludgy. Never heard of it. Yeah. I think it's an old word even. I see Casey nodding in the corner of my eye. Um, <laughs> I can feel it. <laughs> Uh, he said that this re- researcher said that um, everything about Jupiter is extreme. It's a planet on steroids. Yeah. So I, get, I guess it gets it across. Sure. I thought it was a good quote. Uh, it's a lot like the sun, uh, about the same composition. And they think that somewhere in Jupiter lies the recipe for our own solar system. And it's a crucial part of that recipe uh, because it's also made up of a lot of the stuff that makes up planet Earth. Right. So they're hoping to glean um, ideas about the Earth and the solar system at large by looking more into Jupiter. Right, and they want to know how Jupiter formed too, which um, I didn't know we didn't know. 
I assume we knew that kind of thing, but sure. I guess not. We sent a Galileo probe. Remember that guy? Oh, yeah. We sent Galileo past there, and it was like, Jupiter's super dry. Didn't right. you guys think it was going to be wet and icy? And the researchers are like, surely Galileo just happened to go past this really dry part of Jupiter. Yeah. They think that Jupiter formed from ice crystals, allowing uh, an accretion disk to form, which turned into Jupiter. Right. But if there's not any kind of ice on the planet and everybody has to go back to the drawing board because they got Jupiter's formation theories wrong. Oh, if there's no water. Yeah. Yeah, no water, no ice. Right. You know what they say. Yeah. Um, no smoke, no fire. Yeah, so it's kind of a big deal. And that's one of the big things that they're looking for is um, o- oxygen and, and water and what the concentrations are. Yeah. So uh, pretty neat. We'll f- Maybe we'll follow up on this. Yeah, good luck, Juno. And see what they find out about Jupiter. 1,400 times the size of Earth. 1,400 or 14? 1,400. I thought you said 14. No, man. That's why I was relatively unimpressed. 1,400 times. That's big. I mean, the Earth, it's it's decent size. It's no small planet. It's not a slouch. <laughs> All right. That's been Internet Roundup for this week. We're, and, we're um, sorry. We're going to go track down Fishbone and let you know how they are. And we'll see you next week in the studio. <laughs>